videos had came out and the picture came out of Shadi, you know, who is um people calling him his manager, six nine's manager, mm. came out. Well, um, his trial is uh due to happen September the sixth, excuse me, the sentencing for him. And by all indication, they're saying that they're trying to push for him to get a 15 year sentence. Now, you know, you can say maybe people might think that's not a lot, some people think it is. Me seeing this though, Sam, man, seeing that he may get 15 and seeing that, you know, um, Takashi is cooperating 100%. I don't think Takashi's going to get much job, man, still. But what do you think before we get to that about the prosecution in New York trying to give Shoddy 15 years? Man, um, what do I think about it? Well, first off, that's a lot of time. Yeah, Ain't yeah. nobody, no, nobody, no one out there is just wanting to sit there in fucking jail for 15 years. Nobody. But I have to say that I am, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I'm pleasantly surprised, but I am surprised that he is getting that amount of time because like we were talking about in the pre-production meeting, life can continue and go on for that brother once he gets out of jail. He's not going to be sitting behind bars for a period of time where his life right. is taken away and just given to the system for the rest of his life. No, he'll be able to um, maybe on good behavior, maybe with some stipulations within his sentencing, get out before that. If he does, in fact, get 15 years, we do have to wait and see still. Yeah. True, um, true. And it does. When you think of 15 years for him and you think of what Takashi's possibly going to get. Yeah, he's definitely going to walk. And you think <laughs> of what time served. Shit, he might get out the ninth. Who knows? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. You but, said it first. Though. Yeah, I did. Because, you know, the way it's starting to look and the way it looked from the beginning. I mean, he's been cooperating the whole time and then all these different storylines been coming out over the years of you know him possibly getting out and it just seems like again i thought the dude was a damn informant the whole damn time and i said that when i seen him doing a lot of attacking i was in things in chicago and houston and everywhere i'm like nah this dude got to be up to something you know what i mean somebody's behind this guy i don't think somebody's that stupid you know what i mean to to carry on like that maybe he was but that's just my opinion i'm entitled to it but on uh, 15 years I'm sure he don't when you hear that and you behind you like fuck that, you know, I'm sure he wants to get out tomorrow But um, yeah, I mean Him getting 15 years for me. It says all right. Just think it's Takashi probably gonna get Definitely lower than that and then with the time serve, you know, which is like oh year and some change now He might not be doing no more than five and when it's all said and done, that's just my prediction uh, Oh god, he um the trial set for the September the 9th. We got what, six days yeah. Before the trial. Now, we've talked a million times about this dude um, during his his run in the music game, during his setup, the trial, all that shit leading up to this. Um, what does it say? Now, we we both talked about the the just, just how disgusting it is on how much he's telling and ratting. And we talked about that entire um, dynamic ad nauseum. But what is it going to be like actually sitting here? Because I'm sure we're going to see clips of what's going to happen. His trial set. If he sits his ass on the stand, we're going to see something. Is it going to be different watching him point the finger and start telling on people? I remember OJ back in the day. Yeah. You remember it, watching yeah. it right here. It was different as a kid, but this is kind of like, okay, one of these high-profile cases where it's like, whoa, we're, going, we're watching TV with this shit. Right. Is, is it going to feel different actually looking at him pointing and talking? I'm trying to find out. I was about to put in does the uh, New York allow video cameras okay. in the courtroom. I know some places do, some places don't, but yeah, if we can actually see it and we don't just see pictures and stuff like that, I think it's going to be a whole different type of thing to hear him. But obviously, he's probably going to put on, you know, the you know whole thing. and He might even fucking be in there crying or something to see he was fearing for his life. Remember, I'm sure he's going to be coached to put on some type of an act mm -hmm. to make this stuff very believable, like he was the victim. And here, remember, he's, he's um cooperating with the prosecution. So, you know, whatever they're, you know, coaching him to do, he's going to come out along with his legal team and do because he is trying to walk period. He don't want to do no time. His job is to get out with as less time as possible. And that's what he's going to be aiming to do. And I think it's just, you know, again, we went over the whole snitching thing and I do left a comment. I had to respond to him. He was like, with, with all due respect, you guys are not qualified to talk on it because you've never been in this type of situation where you was, you know, looked at uh, some or the police wanted you to snitch. And I said, you don't know, you're talking to because I've been in those situations, you know, what I mean, a couple of times. It might not have been nothing crazy, crazy like a murder, but still, I've been there with detectives that wanted me to talk and I didn't. So, you know, um, not to, not to say that gives me any type of stripes or nothing like that. I'm not even saying it for that, but I'm just saying, like, 
Takashi, it just showed how fake and how much of a spineless coward he was to propagate this lifestyle. And as soon as he had the opportunity, um, you know, to uh, to tell, he did. That's just like if me and you, I'm not telling. Okay. Me and you, like, I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. So it's just crazy, man. If in fact New York does allow televisions and does allow cameras in the courtroom, should this be televised? Should we see this? Should we be allowed to see this? Mm -hmm. In your opinion. So, yeah, hell yeah. Let's let's see this. Let's see, you know, this dude telling the rat. Don't just hide behind, you know, articles and hip hop blogs and shit. Let's look in your eyes, nigga, and let's see this motherfucking rat Takashi 69. Absolutely. And I ain't going to go is and, and paint the picture as eloquently as my brother Oga just did. But you know what? Yeah, I got to see this shit. If we could see OJ get put up for murder and that whole fucking thing, this is just as compelling and just as great uh, television and ratings as that was, man, you better show all this shit. Have Rainbow Boy on there pointing and telling <laughs> on everybody if that's, in fact, what he's about to do. Now, one more question, Sam, man, as we close this segment here. Do you see him? How much time do you see Takashi getting? And if he does get out within the next three years, do you see him getting back in hip hop and making music again? I got to be honest with you. I'm not as um, I don't have as much. I don't want to say expertise. That sounds crazy, but I don't have as much knowledge in it as you do. Right. But I'm going to say, shit, I would have thought he did at least a dime, but now I see three max. Damn. I do. You see, him, you see him making music again, getting out, if he gets in, out in three, four years? No, I know that. That I disagree with you with. I know you said you do. I don't. So he's going to be done with music. I think that he <laughs> should just go ahead and just ride off into the sunset and be happy to be alive. Because I think it would be <laughs> too hot for him to even think that he would be allowed to go on a tour. And I'm not talking about the people in the industry. No, it's, it's people out here like, okay, people took offense to us having a conversation about a culture because they said we're not qualified to talk about it. This motherfucker just rat it. Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. going to allow him to walk the streets? And I'm not condoning anything, any wrongdoing, anybody doing anything crazy, but we all know how that go. He ain't going to be able to walk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's... Yeah. it's but then it's, a, it's that double standard, too, where... Right now, and I hate to even say this to, to, to bring this energy up, but a lot of the rappers now got rats and they click, got people who snitched and whatnot, and not all of them, but some of them out there, and I'm sure people that are going to hear this be like, yo, he's dead on accurate, but again, I wish I would never said that, but it is, it is what it is. Hey, man, look, you know, name no names. It is what it is. Y'all know who yeah, you are. Definitely. If, in fact, oh, God, it is true in that 6-9, September 9th, yeah. we'll be covering it. Yeah, and we'll see, man. All the speculation and all the, you know, what I mean, estimations. Yeah, we'll be up. We'll be seeing. Yes, sir. But you're tuning into the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam. And we going in today. If you're loving the content, family, we need you to do us a favor. If you're listening on um, iTunes, Spotify, or Google Play, please do not forget to hit the five star rating right there on the screen. And more importantly, do not forget to subscribe to the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Now, um, Adam twenty two. Slim 400. Now, we know about Slim 400, who pretty much escaped with his life narrowly, you know, um, just about a month and a half ago, I think it was. Um, and we know Slim 400 as being YG's artist and yeah. everything. Well, he sat down with No Jumper Podcast, Sam, man. And when you played this for me earlier, I was just like, damn, but you got it. This is the most one of the most fuckboyish ass fuckboy shit I've ever seen in my <laughs> life, bro. <laughs> Yeah, and I yeah. can't, there's no other way to put that. And I, and I must be honest with that. When nice. I looked at it, I was like, this ain't this. Let me just play it for the people. Yeah. Put my, my, my hospital address on the internet. Uh, I know. I screenshotted the conversation. And, but it posted it. Damn, that is fucked up. I already up, got right? shot nine times. I know. You want the niggas to come back to the hospital? That didn't happen, did it? No, it didn't. No. Thank God. But like, bro, you did that. <sighs> That's fucked Who up. Who do that? I know. That is fucked up. I'm sorry. That's out, Adam. That's really bad. You could have had me killed. Oh, I know. They was already expected to do that. Really? Now, they would have came and set in the park out of some shit. I mean, to be fair, I did delete it as soon as you told me to delete it. But Man, I don't know this how many hours your, it was This up. shit was already on air. Ugh. You know, people screenshotted that and reposted it and mm. blogs picked it up. Mm. Yeah. And you would have been you would have been a reason now. Bad form. Would you have been able to sleep at night? Not easily. I'm I'm black, bro. <laughs> okay. I'm a I'm an affiliate. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a nigga really out here rapping shit. That was fucked up. I'm real sorry about that. That's some fucked up ass shit. I've been meaning. All right. Mm -hmm. You heard it. I'm man. Okay, so I'm gonna give Slim 400 the benefit of the doubt right now. 
because I don't know that brother and say that he was just trying to be calm.